everyone welcome to my first Halloween tutorial of 2013 the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start off by priming our faces and the primer that I'm using is the Tarte Clean Sleep Poreless Primer to prime our eyelids I am going in with Max Painterly Paint Pops then I am taking Max Eyeshadow in Dazzle Light and I'm applying this to my brow bone and inner corners I tape the outer part of my eye just so that I can get a very precise line when I start doing my eyeliner in this video. Then I am taking the color Bamboo by MAC and I am going to map out my crease. Taking another MAC eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Saddle, I am just going to be applying this right on top of Bamboo, and this is just to intensify the color and make it a little bit more smoky. Grabbing a fluffy brush, you just want to blend in both colors together. Here I am going with one of Chanel's eyeshadows and this one is in the color Phantasme. They're the ones that are in the pot. They're supposed to last about 12 hours and they really do. Now I am taking NYX glitter um, liner and I am just going to be applying this all over my lid to kind of serve as an adhesive for the glitter that I am applying in this clip right now and the glitter that I'm using is the glitter from Too Faced in the color Blue Angel and I absolutely love this glitter it is very pigmented and a little goes a long way now I am lining my top line with doing like kind of like a cat eye and the liner that I am using is the MAC Liquid Last Liner in the color Point Black. And as you guys can tell, the tape really helps me define that um, outer part of the eye and it kind of helps me extend my liner out a little bit longer while at the same time doing it very precise. Then you just want to take any black shadow, the one that I'm using here is the one from the Lorac Pro Palette and you just want to apply this right on top of those first shadows that you put on your crease and this is just going to blend the whole look together and it's kind of it's kind of going to give it the look kind of like a cut crease look to it but at the same time it's not it's just a very pretty um look and then you just kind of want to go back in with those browns and just blend everything in together now moving on to the face the foundation that I'm using today is the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I really really like this foundation. I recently just discovered it again. I actually had it in a drawer so it was really nice to know that I still had it and it still matches my color. Then I'm going in with Tarte's Creaseless Concealer in the color Fair and I'm just going to be applying this to my under eye, nose, chin, and forehead and I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush and I'm just blending it out. Now I'm going in with another MAC product and this one is a Pro Longwear um, powder in the color Accentuate. I don't know if it's Pro Longwear or if it's just a Pro powder but I know that the name is Accentuate and you just kind of want to put this wherever you applied a concealer to just set everything in place. Now I am going in with my Hello Flawless Benefit powder and I am just applying this wherever I feel like I get really oily. Then I'm just bronzing my face with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzing powder and I'm just applying this to my forehead, cheekbones, and a little bit on my nose. Not a lot on my nose. I'm not really big on contouring my nose, especially now that I'm peeling a little bit because I went to the beach this weekend. But yeah, and then I am just taking a fluffy brush and I am 
just blending it out even more so that it's not too precise. Then I'm taking just any white liner. The one that I'm using is one by MAC in Fascinating and you just kind of want to line your um, waterline. And this is just going to kind of give you a more awake look which I really like. Now I am going in with Max eyeshadow and corduroy and I am just applying this to my under eye area and just kind of smoking it out a little bit. For blush I am taking Max Melba and I am just applying this to the apples of my cheeks very very lightly. Now I just want to apply some mascara. I'm applying some to my lower lash lines because it kind of looks a little bit um, washed out from the white liner. So I'm just applying a coat of Maybelline's The Rocket. I'm retouching my eyebrows because I noticed that I got a little bit of powder in them. For lips, I am first lining my lips with Max Cherry Lip Liner and then I am taking Revlon's certainly red lipstick which I love and it's so pigmented and I can't believe this is only like eight bucks so I love 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 this lipstick for highlight I am going in with Mary Luminizer and this is it for the makeup look now so now to get that um great Gatsby inspired um hair and or flapper hair it's very simple I kind of went ahead and curled my hair um, beforehand just to save us a little bit more uh, time. And you're gonna, just the only thing you're going to need, need is um, bobby pins. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are actually going to be parting your hair in two and you are going to be putting your hair to the side that you want it to. And once you have the hair parted to the side that you like, you're going to part it into two more sections. So I'm going to part it into two separate sections. And um, once you have that, um, you're going to part it into two other sections. You're going to be grabbing your hair with two, fing two fingers. And you're just going to want to start rolling the hair up into the length that you want it to be so that I want mine right here so I'm just gonna stop it there and then I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to pin it both sides in the inner part so I'm just pinning both sides of the hair after if you want it a little bit lower you can um, the most important part is just getting it up there then after letting some loose pieces go it's the easy part so then you're going to take the last piece and this piece you're going to want to brush it off just so that you can kind of cover the back of your head a little bit and then you're going to do the same thing you're going to grab two fingers put it at the tip of your hair and you just want to start kind of rolling the hair up so just roll the hair And then whatever piece is left after we're just gonna tuck it in and then just gonna grab some more bobby pins and you are just going to pin it in place now the other side we're going to repeat the same steps so we are going to split the hair into two sections and for this side I'm actually going to start in the back section because I kind of want to keep the front of my hair a little bit longer so you have that hair rolled up you are just going to be bobby pinning it to your head and then you move on to the front i'm actually going to secure this one with three because i have quite a lot of hair okay so then to the front like i said i wanted to keep my front part a little bit longer so I'm just going to do the same thing. The only difference is that I am going to not take it so high up. So once I have it to there, I'm going to bobby pin it. Okay, so this part of my hair, I want it longer like I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tuck at some of my layers and kind of just make the hair a little bit longer you see like I think that just looks so pretty and so chic 
that I love it. So then you just want to kind of start playing with it a little bit just to kind of loosen up your own hair. And don't forget the back because it's really important. You do not want your hair to look like it's wrapped up. So then just start playing with it. And then to finish off the look, I am actually going to be taking one of my necklaces that I feel like it's so Gatsby inspired because it's full of little um, rhymes. But this right here, kind of like very boho, but at the same time, it's so glamorous because it has the little rhinestones. Bobby pinned this to the back of my um, hair. So I'm just going to be bobby pinning it right there. And I'm just kind of going to adjust it a little bit. And just kind of put it in place. And that is it. I'm going to zoom you guys out so that you guys can see the whole finished. Um. So this is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to do. And just playing with glitter is, like, for me, it's such a fun experience. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more Halloween looks. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, thank you guys so much for your support. See you guys.